and DA has some breaking news for us. Ooh, a little big one here. A couple of elite teams. Yes, yes, two teams that were looking for different things, and I think they've got them. The Celtics are about to trade Kendrick Perkins and Nate Robinson to Oklahoma City in exchange for Jeff Green and Nanad Kristich. No, I don't believe that. That's not going <laughs> no, to, that's not happening. It's not happening? No. You sure? Yeah, that's yeah. not happening. I was told it's happening, no? Let me, let me, think, about this. Let me think about this one. Yeah. I, I tell you, I like the fact that not only is Boston shipping out Perkins, you know, then leaving a hole, but they're getting a big back in Kristich, and we know how important it is to have a stacked front line. What do you think of the trade, Kevin? Well, I think it's interesting because, you know, Perk was a big, big part of that defense and he anchored it for him. And, you know, little Nate came off the bench and had some scoring and stuff. I just think there's a lot of things went into this. It was Perkins would be a free agent, contract extensions. A lot of stuff goes into that. I like Jeff Green a lot. I think, I think if you're talking about having your bench. No, your phone's blowing I know. Up. Having your bench <laughs> coming coming off with Jeff Green on it. I, I, I like that, coming off your bench. It's really? Coming in, I mean, he's a heck of a basketball player. Yeah. And uh, Danny did want to get a little younger at that at that three spot, and he did with Jeff Green, who I think is a heck of a player. Th this, to me, is wow. I mean, it's wow, because... It's a wow. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> this is. is like wow. The rich get richer. <laughs> consensus, <laughs> consensus, if the Celtics are healthy, there's no one that doesn't like the Celtics' chances of winning a championship yeah, this yeah. year. And they were waiting and waiting and waiting to get Perkins back. He comes back finally. you got your other guys on the men's list, okay, the, the O'Neills. Uh, and all of a sudden, he's gone now, this, this integral part. They would have won the championship last time if he yeah. hadn't gotten hurt during the, the playoffs. Wow, there's got to be a lot, you know, we as average you know, outsiders, not knowing the inside of the Celtics, what's going on why they would do this deal. And, and you may have said, been on one reason, money is, is talking nowadays. Yeah. Yes, it does. One way or the I other. Mean, yeah, I, I, again, though, when you ask a guy, hey, uh, would you like to do a contract extension? They say yes, you start talking numbers. And you're here, and they're here, and there's no budge. At a certain point, you say, well, we're gonna lose them for nothing, maybe we need to trade them. And I think that's what might, might be what happened. But I, I was surprised at that one also. But I, big Jeff Green fan, I like Jeff Green. It, 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 it'll, be, it'll be interesting, different, the Celtics will now have a little bit of a different look. And think about this. Jeff Green was involved in the trade that brought Ray Allen to Boston. Now yeah, Ray right. Allen and yeah. Jeff Green on the same team with the Boston Celtics trying to win a second championship here in the Big Three era.